What's going on everybody? I know it's been a hell of a long time since I've made a video and even longer since I've made a predator roast. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this one. Who's that predator? It's Anthony Palumbo. Why don't you put that in the refrigerator? County, New Jersey continues. All the men who come to our undercover house are expecting to meet a young girl. Except this next man. He's been chatting online with a decoy posing as a boy. Oh yeah. He's 46 year old. He likes some boys. And he's brought a gift. We've hired an 18 year old. A gift that goes in the refrigerator. And none of the decoys, except for maybe one or two, but definitely none of the dudes, ever look like they're supposed to be a 14, 13 year old boy. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. I'm sure I've said that before, but god damn. I mean, I guess they were working with what they had. Better than Alex, but still. <laughs> Come on in. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, did you see that? That motherfucker almost tripped. I have never caught that before. Let's watch that again. He's walking backwards. Oh, that fucking rug. You give good directions, but you don't know how to fucking walk backward to save your life. Online in an AOL gay chat room calling himself Hi Buddy What's Up. Okay, and this is my theory and other people's theories from what I've seen in the comments of this video and other Palumbo videos is he didn't know what the fuck he was doing. He thought he was talking to somebody when he was making his username, and that's why he put Hi Buddy Was Up, because he put the spaces in everything. <laughs> I don't think he really thought that that would be an appealing username. I thought I think he genuinely thinks he was probably talking to somebody at that point. Fucking idiot. He tells, he tells the decoy, decoy who's pretending to be a 14-year-old boy that he's horny. Then the 46-year-old says... I want, I want to be, be top. top. I am horny. I want to be top. And look at that motherfucker's mustache. And I've kind of always thought this. Motherfuckers with mustaches like that have got to be dirty. They just... I mean, a must... It sits right there on your fucking lip. It's going to It's gonna catch everything you eat, drink, everything. If you smoke, it's going to be fucking nasty. I'm sure it smells like shit. Unless they wash it after they do literally anything which i highly doubt is the case oh okay you want, you want to do it wrong oh okay yes yeah. what's, what's that no, no rubber. rubber i was supposed, supposed to be able to have now he's here now he's explaining his good directions several times to put it in the refrigerator because you know you give good directions i just don't know how to follow them i was supposed to be going left but i was taking a right and you know. Go put that in the fridge. There's first time. Where are ya? Ooh. Number two. Yeah, put that in the refrigerator and chill out. Third fucking time, he said. Don't get drunk with that. Yeah, don't get drunk with that till I'm ready to get drunk with that with you. Because that's what it's all about. Fucking creep. God damn. And he's about to give like a weird ass stretch. I, It's so creepy. So why did like, you cover story to go to the Atlantic Flex and stretch? Yeah, but who did you have to give that to as a cover story? No, no, my I brother is home. My other brother. brother. My other brother. I go to Atlantic City, but instead he came here. I stopped by to go there. Just stop by. Yeah, I love to go. You took a little bit of a game while coming here tonight. No, I just stopped by. But you said you were nervous when you came in. Why were you Yeah, because I was going to Atlantic City and it was dark and I'm not usually a driver at dark. I'm not usually a driver at dark. Yeah, I'm not a driver at night. What about visiting? So you come to meet a 14 year old boy at night, even though you're a bad driver at dark? Doesn't make much sense there, buddy. Then you had to give your brother an excuse to go see your other brother in Atlantic City, but you were going to gamble. So did you lie to your brother about gambling and meeting the 14-year-old? Questions. Did he make boy home alone? Was that 
Well, yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to say hi and drop off a packet. Yeah, yeah, I had the. Uh, have you been drinking tonight? No, not at all. Not at all. Okay. Yeah, dodged a, dodged a fucking bullet right there, because Palumbo just looks like one of those guys that has a bad breath. Like he just looks like he has a shit breath. I don't know, just based on his face. You know, there are guys with faces that you just like don't want to get too close to him because you know if you do, it's probably not going to smell the greatest. And he's one of those guys. For sure. He tells me several times he thought the boy was 18, but after he told him twice, he tells him two different times that he's 14. How old are you? 39. 39. You said you were 35. 35. 35, 39, 46. It's all the same. Age is just a number, and numbers are meant to be subtracted. You know? 39, 35, 46, 14, 18, eh, it's all up in the air. ...his time caring for his ailing mother, then he tries to explain away his graphic sexual chat. You asked him in your chat if he was top or bottom. What does that mean? Like you don't fucking know, Chris. Chris has dealt with enough of these guys. He definitely knows what the fuck top or bottom is. He just wants to hear him say it. I think Chris gets off on that a little bit hearing these guys say what they typed i don't know because he does it quite often did I I you know, did ask I'm that i'm just just trying to be fooling around, just, just just fooling around, around motherfucker he was a cop she's just joking just, just joking. joking i ask well, everybody you that meet a teen boy after uh, this sexual conversation I do it like I want to hang out with someone like a friend. Like I can do like eighteen. Oh, like you know. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gay or anything. So I'm not gay or anything. I just stopped by. I'm just saying. I had to give my brother an excuse to come to Atlantic City. This motherfucker's got all the quotes, but he just he really wants Chris to know he's not gay. He was coming to fuck a fourteen-year-old boy. But he ain't gay. You know, he's one of those straight guys that fuck men. Oh. Change. I'm straight. I don't care what adults do. No, I'm just saying. But when you involve somebody who's 14, that's why it comes to How old are you? No, you 14. I told you that already. You said K. But why do that? What's the number? It's fine. It's a gamble. It's not. It's not. Yeah, I know. I did a stupid thing. Do you ever watch my photography? Sometimes Got a big enough ball of water, eh? Well, I'm Chris Hansen. I work for Kate Lightning. We're doing a story on adults. He's not much of a TV guy. I was the one on the, um... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Walk right on the Oh, gosh. They got him. Oh, he really was a little startled. Watch him jump. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> This at least they didn't throw him on the ground. It would have been a lot better though if he would have like at least tripped down the steps or something. I don't know. Well, that was a short one, guys. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this newest episode of the Predator Roast. I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to continue doing them or not, but I thought about it and realized and not realized I know, but thought about it and you know there are so many of these fucking guys that I've not even talked about on my channel yet so i figure i may keep it going for now see how it does and uh if you guys are tired of it definitely let me know down in the comments if you are new to the predator roast because i have gained a handful of subscribers since the last predator roast let me know what you thought about it and if you like the series i've got i think 12 more episodes that i've done so just go to my page click videos and scroll down it'll be a similar thumbnail to this one so i know i haven't been posting in quite some time but like i said in the last video i quit my full-time job to start self-employment in the real estate rental business i guess you would say with my dad um i've been working a lot of long hours every, like every day i've gotten a handful of days off here and there but i usually just come home 
go to sleep after I get out of the shower and don't even really come down to my office. I haven't been down here in a long time. So I'm going to try to squeeze in some time to make some videos. I've got some footage of the work I've done on my duplex. I lost the camera I started recording on like three days in. So I've got three or four days worth of recording on that camera and then I found it again last week. So I will have the beginning and the end of one side of my duplex. So that will be uploaded here shortly. I've also been thinking about going and re-uploading some of my old maintenance videos that I uploaded onto my maintenance channel and gonna try to maybe throw one or two of those up, see how well they do. If they do well, you guys like them, then I may try to start recording more new maintenance videos. So I don't know, just kind of getting into everything. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it. If not, you can always dislike it. That, I mean, doesn't help, but it also, I guess, doesn't really hurt because I don't know who the fuck's it going to hurt. Not me. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll see you later. Let's just catch a fucking vibe. Let's just catch a vibe.